Hi, Dr. Herman. It's very glad to have you here with us today at New York Stock Exchange. Thank you, Jason. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. So firstly, why not introduce yourself and your company to our audience? Okay, so I'm Dr. Herman Weiss. Um, I'm a physician. Uh, I also have an MBA from uh, George Washington University. I went to Ohio State Medical School. Um, I'm the, currently the CEO of Todos Medical. We're an immune-based diagnostic company focusing on the immune system diagnosis of cancers and of Alzheimer's disease. So sometimes we know that people are all afraid of cancer, so sometimes we do the cancer screening. So in your opinion, what is the current limitation of the current uh, cancer screening? Well, I don't want to encourage anyone not to get a cancer screening, mm -hmm. but right now um, mammograms are the best we have for uh, breast cancer screening. And in, even in the best of hands, they still miss a lot of cancers and they have a, a high, high false positive rate in women who have dense breasts or a, ambiguous uh, findings on the uh, mammogram. We have a simple blood test that will solve that uh, with a much higher degree of sensitivity and specificity than the current uh, standard of care. Um, we also know that when a person gets uh, a colonoscopy, which is a colon cancer screening, uh, ordered, only 50% of the time they will follow through and actually have the test. That's why Exact Science Cologuard are uh, a multi-billion dollar company. They were a billion dollar company even before they launched their test and got it approved because of that exact reason. So they are successful. They're looking for circulating DNA in the stool and other tests are looking for circulating uh, DNA in the blood. We're not looking for circulating uh, DNA of the cancer. We're looking for the immune system reaction to cancer. We're able to catch cancers immediately when they turn, much earlier, and uh, even on a precancerous, um, in a precancerous state. Is that TBIA platform you mentioned? Yeah, that's the, we're actually taking the blood, spinning it, a simple blood test, like you would get a CBC or a blood uh, cholesterol level check or your diabetes check. Uh, we spin it, send it to our lab, uh, plate it and send it through an off-the-shelf uh, spectrometer uh, and based on our proprietary algorithms we're able to take that fingerprint mm -hmm. of the uh, different cancers. That's the TBI uh, proprietary platform. Mm -hmm. And what is LIMPRO platform? LIMPRO is also looking at the immune system uh, but we're actually able to diagnose Alzheimer's at a much earlier. Mm -hmm. Alzheimer's is a horrible disease. My father passed from Alzheimer's a few years ago. Thank you. And it's uh, really affects the family, obviously affects the person and the family and all the caregivers around. Uh, had I known the, my father was suffering from Alzheimer's, it would have made all our lives a lot easier uh, for at least five, six years before the actual diagnosis and his ultimate passing. Unfortunately, the diagnosis happens much later in the disease process, when the amyloid and the, uh, beta amyloid and the uh, tau are already circulating and causing damage and causing neuronal death. The cells in the brain are already dead by the time, uh, by the time the diagnosis is made. Our test is not looking for amyloid or tau. It's looking for the mechanistic approach to why these cells are dying. We're looking at something called cell cycle dysregulation and cell cycle dysfunction. That is a mechanism upstream to allow us to make the diagnosis much earlier than curr currently uh, happening. Why this is important, because you asked about differentiators, nothing is being done for that right now. Mm -hmm. The earliest diagnosis is being done by a PET amyloid scan, which costs, it's the only approved diagnosis in the market uh, that Lilly owns. It's approved for uh, diagnosing Alzheimer's disease. It costs about six, seven, eight thousand dollars depending on the, on the location. And our test will come down, will car correlates uh, about 85 to 90 percent uh, correlation with the PET amyloid. So our test will become the new gold standard um, because dr uh, third party payers are not reimbursing uh, that PET amyloid. They will reimburse ours because we're much, much cheaper. Yeah. So what clinical stage it is in about the TBIA and the LIMPRO? Uh, the TBIA right now is being commercialized in Europe. We have a CE mark. Mm -hmm. We are going to be selling within six to eight months uh, in the European markets in Romania and in Austria and in Israel. Uh, we want to make sure we perfect the delivery of care and the delivery of, of, of the results based on the blood tests that they send to us. Once we're able to commercialize in these uh, locations, we'll regionalize and go to other countries. Um, and we've already started uh, interactions with the FDA. We have a 24 to 36 month um, launch program for uh, the U.S. market for our TBIA. For the Alzheimer's disease test, our current uh, approval is something called IUO, investigational use only. Our hope and our goal is to 
to get our biomarker involved in the pharmaceutical uh, studies. Because right now there is no pharmaceutical that's approved for Alzheimer's disease because they start the trials too late. Mm -hmm. And we want to move that envelope earlier, get the patients into the trials earlier with a more accurate diagnostic that makes it earlier in the disease uh, progression. What's also important to note is that it costs $150,000 to recruit one patient into an Alzheimer's disease trial because they have to screen 15 patients to get one patient in. With our test, we'll be able to screen three or four, get one patient in, decreasing costs by a factor of 10. Now, it's not only the big pharmas that can do the uh, clinical trials. We can move it down to the early startups and the universities will be able to recruit more patients for much less, uh, more, much less money, ha having more shots on goal, uh, and, and eventually having a uh, di uh, therapeutic based on our diagnostic. So our, we have a three-pronged approach to commercialization. First, we will be selling our test to drug companies. Then, hopefully, a drug will become approved. Then we will be um, uh, getting a companion diagnostic approval. So a drug will not be reimbursed unless we are LIMPRO positive, and eventually getting full diagnostic uh, approval across the board. Mm -hmm. uh, so at each stage, we are increasing our uh, revenues and increasing our commercialization. You mentioned Europe and the US. Is this two markets you are focusing on? Uh, yeah, but we also have uh, advanced discussions in Asia. Uh, Asia, uh, Asian populations have a high incidence of dense mm -hmm. breasts. Exactly. Uh, they also actually have a high incidence of lung cancer. We just got an approval uh, of our patent for lung cancer diagnosis. Uh, we have advanced discussions. There's really no diagnostic uh, available for lung cancer. Uh, and wouldn't it be simple to have a simple blood test uh, that would allow you then to get either a CAT scan or some further di uh, you know, diagnostics. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're pretty excited about those markets as well. And uh, what is the next step for the development and, uh, to, and the road to the commercialization? So once we successfully commercialize in Austria, Romania, and Israel, mm -hmm. we'll be expanding our European footprint, um, and we will be expanding to Asia and continuing clinical trials in the U.S. Yeah, so is there any other words you want to say to our audience or the investors? Um, as a physician, I'm here to help doctors take care of patients. I want patients to live longer and healthier. Uh, and I want to make it in something that's not going to tax the uh, healthcare system. So all our tests are relatively inexpensive compared to you know, treating cancer at a much later stage. Yeah. Cancer is, is awful, but we all know that the earlier you, can, you, you catch it, the earlier you detect it, the better it is uh, for the patient, the easier it is to treat. And Alzheimer's disease, from personal experience, we need to find a cure. And the only way to find a cure is to diagnose it earlier. The number one unmet need, save for therapeutics in, in Alzheimer's disease, is catching it early uh, and allowing patients to uh, have behavioral modifications and getting them into drug trials. We need to cure this. What is your long-term goal or short-term goal for the remainder of 2019? Well, well, currently we're listed on the OTC market as TOMDF. We're in a, a process uh, with an investment bank uh, in uh, an IPO process where we're going to be uplisting onto NASDAQ uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, we're raising $7 million, um, and the, the goal is that will carry us for the next 18 months uh, to commercialization and to uh, clinical trials. Okay, thanks so much for the interview. Thank you. Thank you.